Welcome, I'm Todd Rafael with Eightfold. If you don't know of us, we're a uh, talent intelligence platform, an AI-driven uh, platform that handles the whole life cycle of an employee. Here with a talent acquisition leader named Matt Blunt, and Matt is at Facebook. He's in the DC area, Northern Virginia, and we're talking about what is on his mind, what he's working on these days. He's got quite a, quite a setup, although all of us kind of have something going on like this, but not everyone knows about what we all have going on. But he's got, he's got a couple of kids, um, like many, and he's, let's see, he's teaching the eight and 10 year old, teaching them elementary school essentially from like eight to 11 in the morning. And then he goes to work at Facebook around 11. His wife does the graveyard shift as a nurse overnight. She gets up at 4 p.m. Did I get that about right? Yeah, you got it. So he's keeping busy, we're keeping busy. And Facebook is busy hiring. In fact, hiring a lot, they're not slowing down, but they are having more candidates than ever. Is that right? Yeah, you got it. And that means what to you? Because everyone's a Facebook user, so you don't just reject all of them and say no thanks. Yeah, I think like with a lot of your tech, um, friends in the community, one of the things that we have to be keenly aware of is a lot of the people that we talk to are users and we find ourselves in a position right now where that's never been more true. And so showing care and connecting with candidates right now has sort of been even more top of mind. One of the things that we're finding is that, uh, whereas before, um, of course, we wanted to provide a really good experience, one of the things that we're really having to work with now uh, is that we just don't know what sort of shape people are gonna be in, where they're at, where their head's at. And so showing care as part of the process is, has really been top of mind for us. And top of mind for your recruiters and your sorcerers, talk to us about that. Yeah, one, you know, one of the things I think that, um, that people have asked me what's changed for me uh, you know, with this sort of new normal for us uh, is the intensity of the interactions that we have with people. So even the, you know, the, um, the interaction that we're having right now, mm -hmm. these we're finding tend to be a little bit more intense. Uh, and the people that we're talking to, again, I just alluded to, it depends sort of what your state of mind into, uh, it, what your state of mind is rather. What we're finding is that, um, you know, if I'm your recruiter and you're a job seeker, and I'm talking to you and you're having a really, really tough day. Uh, maybe you've been laid off um, or maybe you've been furloughed or maybe you're uh, in a position where you're having to care for a family member, but you're interviewing for a role, there's even more pressure on you uh, in, that, um, in that scenario. And I think recruiters and sources really feel that, not just Facebook recruiters and sources, but most recruiters and sources, if you're in a position right now to, is, to feel that. Is there anything that you're doing or can do about that? One, I think first is just recognizing it um, and calling it out and letting people know that it's there. Uh, not that recruiters or sourcers are the forgotten people in yeah. this, but you know we're the connection to, to companies that we represent. So awareness, I think, is number one. Uh, number two, I think, is to remind people that you know we're not qualified. Uh, if you're not a doctor, you're not a psychologist, you're not a psychiatrist, it's okay. Like Just do the best you can. I think our position is that, and my position with my people is that we want to show care first and do the best that we can. And then finally, I think uh, along those lines with the best that we can, it's making sure that if I've had a really, really intense interaction with you, I do my best and try not to carry that over into the next candidate and have that mm -hmm. impact them. So we don't want to bum anyone out, but we want to give everyone their own experience that they deserve. You're working with your sorcerers and recruiters around the world to think about that, learn that, train on that. Is that right? Yeah, we're not perfect at it, um, but we talk about it every day. It's how are you feeling? We check in. And I know that I'm sure a lot of the people that we talk to are having a lot of daily uh, stand-ins and a lot of check-in calls. Um, I'm also conscious of over-communication in this environment. And so uh, electronic directives are really just sort of short bursts of reinforcement and what's the mission for today? What's the plan? Trying to limit the noise between these interactions is something that I'm aware of too. So. There's a lot of communication, but we're also aware of the type of communication too. So we try to drop breadcrumbs when we can and let people um, just sort of manage themselves. That makes perfect sense. 
Thank you. And good luck with everything. This is, this was Matt Blunt. He's a talent acquisition leader and he's with Facebook. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Todd.